Hello and welcome back to our England campaign in Rule Britannia. Right, so we have a truce with France until 1525. We have a fourth union casus belli until 1537. So, my question, which I'm probably not going to get the answer to before I, uh, you know, do anything about it, is... Do we go to war in 1525 for um, for the Union, or do we go to war in 1525 for these claims? I'm leaning towards the Union, and I'll tell you why. So, we ha my, my goal for this campaign is complete every mission. Without fail, all of them. I want to do all of them. And... That includes subjugate France, which means I need to get it in, uh, you no, know, the, the Union. Or do I? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where's my mission that has me using them as a... So this this gave me a force union Casas Belli on France. So then there's Conquer Brittany. That's, that's fine. All province in Brittany area owned by England. Subjugate France. All province in Ile de France area owned by England or its tributary. Hold up. So I don't actually have to have the Union. I could just conquer it and that would still complete the mission. Okay, that's that's different to what I was thinking then. That is very different to what I was thinking. I thought one of these missions was have France in a personal union, but that's clearly not the case. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, so I think I'm just going to go with the conquering route rather than the union route. Thank you. Angevin M King. Uh, sorry, Angevin Kingdom. That should be the own. Uh, have them in a personal union, but it's not. All provinces in the Gascony area owned by England. It doesn't say owned by England or a tributary or a, or a non-tributary vassal. So I think the Angevin Kingdom means I have to integrate Gascony. That'll give me the one here. Because look at this one. All provinces in the Picardy area owned by England or its non-tributary subjects. I don't have that for here. This is I need to own it myself. Which is a bit of a shame. I would like to keep Gascony around full time. Okay, so, okay, hmm. The plan. 1525, we're gonna do the conquering route. We're just gonna own it. We're just gonna own it all. This, yeah, that's that's where we're gonna play it. Alright, on pause. I think we've we've decided what the route in the future is going to be. I need to get the Liberty Desire down for those guys. Uh, which one do we want? I'm thinking, um, we going with exploration in three years time. I haven't even finished trade, like holy shit, my, uh, my ideas are way behind. Not like I've got a terrible ruler either. He's slightly below average, but fuck, that's normal. Um, hmm. What to do? Not gonna make a state. Yeah, I'm thinking... Definitely gonna do exploration as our next idea group. Might hold off on the trade ideas until I've got at least a few in, uh... Exploration. Until I can actually do some colonization and shit. Uh, pretty soon we're going to be able to, yeah, six years we'll be able to form uh, Great Britain, which will give us a whole bunch of new missions, actually. Um, and it doesn't get rid of these. I still have these missions. I'm just going to get more, which is fucking cool, I think. All right, our ruler just tech, not teched up. He, he got a new ability thing, stab cost modifier. It's not amazing. It's not terrible either. Portugal, hey, how about you give me some fucking maps of West African Sea, that you'll give me one, 
about getting eight, nah, I don't want anything from you then. Oh yeah, so here I think we're gonna take eh, war taxes because then we'll just go to war with somebody and get free war taxes because why not? Oops, Denmark's trying to be free, isn't it? War for independence. That's only the first time. Shouldn't have waited until Norway was integrated. See, I I feel like um, Norway is a much much easier start than Sweden. Oh, it looks like my war taxes thing <laughs> kind of went away already. Um, we'll look at that in a moment. Yeah, Norway much much easier start because you can ally with Sweden to break free. You don't have a two-front war like you do if you are Sweden. And yeah, you have better troops if you're Sweden, that's fine and all that. But it, Sweden will always be, um, you know, have liberty desire over 50. So you can always ally them and attack Denmark together. If you're Sweden, you don't have that option with Norway. They're too loyal. Last me act, yep. Gain an army professionalism, mill tech cost minus 10 for tw 10 years. Nice. Like it. Like it a lot. Only get one use out of it, really, but it's better than nothing. Alright, got another heavy. We'll pop you over there. We absolutely rule the waves. Let me build some stuff. We've got a lot of money. 16 in Le uh, Leicester? Fuck yes. About workshops? Mm, not really worth it. Marketplaces? Not really worth it. Manufactories? Definitely not worth it. Bruce with Austria is over. Does that mean I can ally with him again? No, not until 1518. Too many diplomatic actions. Uh. I think Portugal is going to be the one to drop. Truce with Hungary is over. We could take a military idea, but I'd rather take the tech in four years. Maybe in four years we'll have enough for both, but I want to focus on the tech rather than the ideas. Right, you need to move to Glamorgan, which is in Scotland, I think. So that one? No. Where's Glamorgan? Oh no, it's fucking Wales. I knew that. Now if you just stand there, get some morale back and be able to uh, crush those bastards soon enough. 343 general, not bad at all. Wait one more month to see if we can get past this month. Yep, and rise up and die. Lovely, and you know, I guess you can just stay there and drill again. Alright, Gascony loves us, but still got Liberty Desire. How, why is that still going up? Because you got a shit ton of development. Placed relative on throne has still got to go away, but that's not enough. I need more power relative to my vassals. That's going to go down as soon as I integrate them. Although, do they need to be happy with me? Uh, Scotland... All the following must be true. Is Scotland... Okay, no, never mind. Uh, England, Scotland is governed by me. Vassal, yes. Own less cities than 15. Yeah, currently 15, that's fine. Yeah, they actually don't need to be loyal. So is there anything I can do to piss them off to my benefit? Yeah, I'd rather, if they were a personal union, I'd just like siphon their income or something. Eight more barks, so protect trade, English channel. And that's where you are, isn't it? Yeah, English channel, good. Truce with Genoa. Could become the defender of the faith? Probably not a good idea. Oh yeah, more shipyards. That's how we piss away our money. Church in Leicester, lovely. So Leicester's bringing in 
1.88 ducats. It's not bad. It's, it's no London, for sure. But it's not bad. My drill is still going. We're at currently 34.31%. Could be better. Could be worse. So I'm not unhappy there. Uh, I wonder, is my royal marriage with Portugal um, my ruler or his? I'm going to guess it's his. Purely because he's so old and it hasn't broken, whereas I've had multiple rulers. I might be wrong, but I don't think I am. Still got the uh, the same dynasty as Austria, so at some point perhaps Austria will be part of our personal union. Can't claim throne because he's got a strong claim. Although if you get a hunting accident, I'm, I could probably do it. So allied with Lithuania and Bohemia joining in to uh, to his defense might be a little bit awkward. Uh, what's this? I lose a core on Ulster. There's a claim on Ulster. Seed Ulster to Scotland. No, no, I'm afraid that can't be the case. That will put you over 15 cities and I couldn't integrate you. Uh, no, I'm not going to be defended with faith. Clergy gains influence or I gain prestige. I'll gain prestige. You're my ally, right? No. Who is my ally? I thought I'd allied you. Just in uh, Castile and Portugal. I love the Iberians, man. Just want to be your ally. Seems like we have some aggressive expansion, so let's improve relations with outraged countries. Bunch of shipyards. Lovely. Is that all that I can build? I can build in my subject, but my own personal uh, holdings are all blue, including Scotland. Which means my naval force limit is now four higher only. Colonialism has spawned finally, 16 years late, and it is where. Coimbra. Okay, so it's in Portugal. Maybe I won't drop Portugal yet, because Portugal might give colonialism to me. It's not spreading in me at all. But if Portugal embraces it, then they might give it me it. Uh, bring you back. Let's improve relations with Portugal. Hopefully they're kind to me. Gain base protection in Oxford, lose legitimacy. Fuck yes. That's that's an easy choice. Oxford makes me cows. It's not the best. Gain 20 prestige for nothing. Yes. Hmm. Two years away from the tech. Definitely going to have enough for admin. Dip is, yeah, probably going to be enough, most likely. Uh, Austria is influencing Aachen, that's fine. Are you already set to being a country of interest? Yes, you are. Anything else I can build? Regimental camps are okay. Barracks, mm, none of those seem good enough. You know what, that's, uh, that's okay, actually. 50 admin or gain two base tax in London. Considering London costs me 117, that seems like a fantastic choice. So you are going to stop drilling for just a moment. I'll lose a stability, but I'm on three, so I don't really care all that much. Portugal has died. I actually am going to accept that purely because I want him to give me... Uh, Spread his knowledge of the colonialism. Right. Reform. Kill the peasants. Resume drilling. Lovely. Have you embraced it yet? Nope. But it's going to spread fast enough. Like, how fast is it spreading? 3.9 a month. Yeah, it's quite a lot. Uh, 
nice. Nice. Very nice. Uh, I could take the tech and get some innovativeness. Or both, actually. Uh, I don't find innovativeness to be all that useful, but I'm only getting... Well, it's going to be 10% more expensive, but that's not a whole lot. Yes, I will do that. Get myself some innovativeness. Uh, get myself some new cannons. Is that it? And Schwartz Riders. And I can not form Britain because I don't have 100 legitimacy anymore, but that's fine. Conventicle Act, yes. And Declaration of Indulgences, no. Alright, so I just need a little bit of legitimacy. It's going to be a couple of years, and we'll be golden. All right, new idea group. Exploration. And do I want to take the ideas before I take the tech? Tech would give me raid range, global settler increase, and new boats. Uh, bum, 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 bum. New debate. Extra merchant would be nice. Yeah, I'll go with the merchant. We're at 21%. Uh, corruption. Money. Money you can have. Yeah, I'll give you some corruption as well. Fuck it. Alright. I just want you to give me the fucking thing now, please. That would be quite lovely. Embrace it. It'll probably tell me when it's embraced. I don't need to keep looking at it. What music's playing? It's very quiet. Air. Okay. How about you give me some Alba? There we go. They've embraced it. Now, please do this knowledge sharing thing with me. Because you love me. Yeah? You you want to share with me because of reasons. I will give you money. I will give you lots of money. Give me the knowledge sharing. That's not it. We are going to focus dip, I think. I think all of these are fine. I'll actually take a yearly inflation reduction guy. Anthony Marlborough. Fantastic name. Come on, knowledge share with me, you dick. 98 legitimacy. We're so close. We are so close. I think that's the only thing that I don't have... Uh, is it less than, or is it less than and e or equal to? Because I might need to take some a province from them, like maybe the Isle of Man. Uh, I can't steal it, and because we have uh, too high liberty desire. Oh, testicles. Um. Only way to make you happy with me is... Why am I a tyrant overlord? Get fucked. Uh, let's placate him a few times and then seize man. Uh, can I court? Thank you. And now that should be there. Yeah, okay, so it's 14. I should say less than or equal to, right? That would be more easier to, to understand, I think. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I could demand diplomatic support. That might be an idea. Money for... Yeah, that's compensate the traders. Sure thing. And I'm going to give you monopoly charters, and then I'm going to get 100 dip. Or I could get you for 150 dip, 1% away. Right, so get rid of you, actually. And get rid of you, lovely. And what else? Now very close to getting a colonist. Sweet. 
That maintenance modifier would be lovely, but yeah, whatever. Um, could get you to 43. I'd need, need a little bit more influence. Form the British nation diplomatically. Boom. New traditions and ambitions. So, I need to decide whether I want to do this. Um, and I am going to check what the difference in the ideas is in between episodes, because for right now, I am going to take a short break here. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Great Britain has been formed. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.